You know, my favorite thing about jerk bait fishing is the ability to actually make fish bite a lure. And it's one thing about a jerk bait. It seems like you can make fish bite that we don't want to bite or they don't want to bite anything else. You can actually cause that fish to react to your lure. And that's probably my favorite thing about jerk bait fishing. You know, Rapala has always done a great job of mimicking natural actions of shad. And, you know, with the shadow wrap shad, they've captured that once again, you know, because the natural dying action of a shad is one that darts and then fades down or one like you have in the shadow wrap. And the shadow wrap shad, it's got that darting action, then it fades up. So once again, Rapala has been able to mimic another action of a natural bait fish. You know, there's a couple different applications where I like a jerk bait. You know, one of them is in cold water. But, you know, one application about this shadow wrap shad, you know, with that head rising action, I think it's going to kind of parallel the, not just cold water, but even up into warm water. And another time I like a jerk bait is in clear water situations, whenever I've got quite a bit of visibility in the lake, somewhere where those fish can see a little bit of a distance, because the action of this shadow wrap rotating and darting 180 degrees and shimming and coming head up, that really attracts those fish from a long distance. So, you know, for somebody that's never fished a jerk bait before, you know, I would tell them to, you know, to throw the bait out there and you don't want to, I, I never want to reel my line up all the way tight. I want to always leave some slack in my line and I want to jerk the bait. I want to jerk that slack line, jerk the slack, and then use the reel in between pauses. I'll jerk slack, jerk, jerk, pause. That's that would be the first cadence I would learn is that jerk, jerk, pause for a beginning jerk bait fisherman. But the biggest thing is remember to leave that slack in that line when you jerk it. And then when you get done jerking, then use the reel to reel up that slack. Reel, jerk, jerk, reel, jerk, jerk. What that slack does, it allows that bait to work and rotate. This bait will rotate 180 degrees and it allows that bait to do what it's designed to do. So. That's probably the first thing. And you know, most of the strikes on a jerk bait, they can kind of be very violent where they actually jerk the rod tip. But a lot of times I would like to watch my line on the pause. And a lot of time you'll see that line jump or start to run. Uh, and it just depends on the temperature of the water. If the water's warmer, a lot of times the strikes will be more violent. If the water's colder, they may be a little more subtle. Just when you go to jerk the bait, it may be heavy and you may pull into the fish. So you kind of have to pay attention to your line a little bit and it'll kind of vary through your different water temperatures. You know, to somebody that's trying to gain confidence in a jerk bait, the best way that I know to tell people is, you know, when you go fishing, go buy you some jerk baits. If your favorite lure is, say, a crankbait or something, don't take those with you and just go make yourself throw the bait and really pay attention to the slack, jerking the bait on the slack of the line and really make yourself concentrate and try to think about what a shad does. Is it's darting or turning or, or it's dying off in the spring? You know, the colder the water, the longer you want to let that bait set. You know, and some people feel you have to let that bait set eight, nine, 10, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. But I'm kind of of the opinion that about five seconds is as long as I want to let that bait set. Unless, the only, the only time that I'll have an exception to that rule is if say I know there's a brush pile or a tree out there and I jerk that bait down and I know it's actually setting over the top of that piece of cover, then I might allow myself to let that bait set a little longer, say, you know, eight, 10, 15 seconds. If I feel there's a bass in that piece of brush, it might come up and get that bait. You know, light wire hooks, one of the things they can do, you see how sticky that is, how it just, I lay that bait up there and it sticks into my hand. You know, that's all you gotta do. Those baits will penetrate very easily and also, light wire hooks, what they do is they don't weight the bait down uh, and they cause the bait, they give it better action. Uh, pay attention to your cadence, vary your retrieve until you come up with one that you get a bite on and say that'll help you gain more and more confidence. You may jerk the bait three times and let it set or you may jerk it twice, whatever it might be, but the more you fish the bait, the more fish you catch, the more confidence you'll gain in it.